Noto Peninsula, one that protrudes about 100 kilometers into the Sea of Japan, making it secluded from most of the modern sides of Japan. Shunran no Sato is an old-style Japanese farm stay, and our gracious host was more than happy to show me some of his local foraging knowledge. So now if I'm lost in the Japanese forest, I can survive for a couple of days. <laughs> For hundreds of years in Noto, they've been practicing the Agehama style, where salt was harvested by spreading seawater across sand to concentrate its flavor, then boiled before being skimmed and collected, producing a sweet tasting fel de sel. This traditional way is still practiced, and the entire method can actually be observed from start to finish at the Wajima Salt Farm. We walked into a hive of activity, and I was quickly thrust into the middle of it. This is the Kiriko Festival in Notocho, considered as Japan heritage by the Agency of Cultural Affairs. Accompanied by the sounds of the dying last fireworks, the scene takes an electrifying turn. The floats are all lined up, each team is to do one last run and be even louder and more cheerful than during the day. That was absolutely amazing. I just want to do this next year. This has to be one of my most memorable memories in Japan. The Japanese hold respect as one of the greatest values someone can have, and that in itself commands respect. Yet people here always know how to have a good time, and that balance is rare. I was accepted with wide arms into their fold and shown something only very few foreigners will ever get to take an active part in. And for that, I will be forever grateful. Yeah!